do I. I've heard talk of fat barons with great stores of winter food and wine to protect. It seems that I am the man for that work. <laughs> and may God go with you. The dark one is no more. But even as we speak, the wizards gather in the south. Follow your destiny. When you get that look in your face... You did say South, woman. Ah, oh, well. Who wants to work with fat old barons anyway? South it is. We shall meet again. Bearer of the mind. And BBC One will be charting Unknown Waters tomorrow night. The blockbuster movie Jaws 2 is at five past eight. in our throats we can now only watch as the best of the rest fight it out for the greatest prize in world football this saturday bbc one brings you exclusive live coverage of the mouth-watering holland versus argentina Bergkamp brilliantly done followed by the last quarter final germany versus croatia join des Lynam and the rest of the bbc commentary team for the world cup quarter finals saturday at 3 15 on bbc one and radio 5 live a positive movement that brought hope to black America. There's no such thing as equality in this country for a black man. This is a white man's country. An anti-white religion that attacks Judaism. They have to prove they're not the devil. Hitler was a wickedly great man. man. A powerful legacy that now reaches around the world. People are eager and thirsty and hungry for the truth. The story of the nation of Islam, every man, Sunday at 10.45 on BBC One. Overnight news developments with BBC News 24 in just a moment, but before that, a late night look at the weather prospects with Peter Cockcroft. Hello there, it's another cloudy night across much of the British Isles. A little bit of drizzle, a few spits from East Anglia across into South East England. And the breeze picking up now across the north, and that's bringing some outbreaks of patchy rain across northern Scotland, and they'll slip down the east coast as we go toward morning. But temperatures no lower than 8 or 9 degrees. Now tomorrow we start off with that rain in North East England. As it comes southwards it'll turn more and more showery in nature. Probably just uh, a 10% chance of a few light showers across uh, eastern parts of England during the afternoon and that includes Wimbledon. Probably the best of any brightness to the southeast of high ground but we'll continue to see the wind feeding a lot of cloud across northwestern parts of Scotland there'll be some patchy rain there but as I said before to the southeast of any high ground uh, the cloud breaking and particularly in the Edinburgh area we could see the temperature getting up to 23 Celsius which is 73 degrees Fahrenheit now that's the reason for the moisture coming in these weather fronts feeding around this area of high pressure you see lots of isobars through the weekend across northern areas so it'll remain windy there and by Sunday perhaps we'll find a few spots of rain getting into northern England and North Wales good night Health advice for travellers contains the E111 form. It entitles you to free or reduced healthcare costs in more European countries than ever before.
health advice for travelers. There when you need it. Rubies, entertaining. Being on television constantly isn't my aim. That's fantastic. Emotional baggage. Do you know anyone who didn't have a dysfunctional background? I was a loser. Do you mind us talking about it? Sexuality. You probably I'm all, oh, 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 what kind of show is she <laughs> turning into? Just want to ask. Yes. I would like you to like me, but I feel you don't. Getting intimate round the table with Ruby. It's not a bad title. A new series starts Monday, 11.15 on BBC Two. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> There's a big kick to BBC One's lineup this Saturday night. At 6.45, join Anthea and Patrick for the National Lottery Big Ticket. With the draw at half time, the rollover jackpot is an estimated £13 million. Now, before you say anything, don't say anything. Life is anything but fun in One Foot in the Grave. Well, we all make mistakes from time to time. I do not be leaving. I certainly made one 35 years ago. It's a miracle! Learn the secret of everlasting youth, Hollywood style. Drink that potion, and you'll never grow even one day older. You're in violation of every natural law that I know. An all-star cast in Death Becomes Her. That Saturday night here on BBC One. Now for the latest national and international news throughout the night on BBC One, we hand over to BBC News 24. This is BBC News. In America, wildfires are continuing to sweep across the state of Florida, forcing 35,000 people to flee their homes. They've brought traffic chaos to some areas as major highways have had to close. The forest fires have been out of control since the end of May, and firefighters have appealed for more equipment as they struggle to defend the cities of Daytona Beach and nearby Ormond Beach from the encroaching flames. This is the force of Mother Nature that man can't match. For more than a week now, wildfires have burnt out of control in the forests near Ormond Beach in Florida. The fires continue to rage, destroying anything and everything in their path. Firefighters are working round the clock and are pushed to the limit. They say they don't have enough equipment or manpower to keep the flames at bay. Aerial water bombing has had little effect. The area has been choked by thick smoke, making driving impossible. More than 125 miles of motorway have been closed off and police have set up roadblocks to keep the drivers off the roads. The fires are within 25 miles of Orlando. The country's most popular tourist attraction, Walt Disney World, is nearby. But Florida is known as a sunshine state and tourists are not happy about their visit being ruined by fires. For many this week was a bad time for the fires to strike. It has meant the postponement of the first night of the Daytona International Speedway race. We wanted to see the race, but then when I arrived and we seen all the smoke and the fires all the way from Jacksonville, I said something's wrong. The closer we got, the more the fire intensity got. Last night we got evacuated from the place we were staying. The flames have left nothing untouched. Rebuilding will be a massive task and things are likely to get worse with forecasters predicting scorching temperatures coupled with humidity and strong winds. Parmin Sandu, BBC News. The new Hong Kong airport has been officially opened by the Chinese President Jiang Zemin and it's already had its first VIP visitor, President Bill Clinton. Bill Clinton became the first serving American president to visit Hong Kong today and the first passenger to fly into the city's new airport. He was welcomed on a tarmac that was until 10 years ago still ocean. The airport was born with a bang. They got rid of a mountain because of Hong Kong's lack of flat space and then made a brand new island. The biggest land reclamation in history, the airport is the largest civil engineering project ever. The terminal is visible from space. And since Hong Kong is within five hours flight of half of humanity, it had to be big enough to accommodate 80 million passengers a year. If I try and think of airports you might know, Terminal 1, Terminal 2, 3 and 4 at Heathrow, if you put all those together and then add 40%, you have this building. It's under one roof. You could put Soho inside this building. You could put the Wembley Stadium in the baggage hall. 
If the building of Hong Kong's new airport is an historic feat of civil engineering, then landing at the old one was a daily act of aviation daring. Kai Tak Airport closes on the 5th of July and plane spotting will never be the same again. Will you miss Kai Tak Airport? Will you miss these kind of landings? Yes, of course. Although many people believe that it is quite dangerous for the plane to come here and very noisy, as you can see here right now. You couldn't hear what I said. But actually, uh, it has been with Hong Kong for so many years. And it is one of the proof of Hong Kong's success for the past 100 years.